Okay, let us kick off the second part of this afternoon session. The next speaker today is somebody I've been especially looking forward to, uh, Rainer Schultheis, not only because he uh, used to be and still is a science journalist, which I, of course, can relate to, uh, but primarily because of the topic he's going to talk about uh, to us right now. And we're just talking, we were just talking, if you had asked somebody in the 1980s what, uh, in terms of technology, is the 21st century going to bring? What are the big ideas? Uh, what's, what are the big dreams that will come true in the next century? People would probably have said something about flying cars, because people have been talking about flying cars for decades now, but probably there will never be any flying cars. And the second thing, I guess, would have been, well, a prosthesis that can actually feel. This is kind of a technological dream. And, as we're going to be told now, this is coming true. Rainer Schultheis, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yes, the feeling like prosthesis uh, is reality. And a couple of days ago, we had uh, the worldwide launch in Austria and in Südtirol in Bozen. Uh, and we are the first company in the world um, bringing out this feeling like prosthesis. Um, you see here uh, a bit of the idea of the prosthesis. The mission of our company is to eliminate the horrible phantom pain. We've seen in our company that uh, pain is uh, one of the big unsolved problems for amputees, and especially the pain which comes from that their leg is missing, which is incredible, absurd, but is terrible for the amputees to help them to reduce or even eliminate phantom pain was one of our drivers in the company. And we use in our um, technologies lots of uh, sensors and actuators uh, which are involved in R&D. And by the way, of course, a feeling like prosthesis also helps to increase uh, the gait stability for amputees, which is very important when it comes to, to the imminent danger of falling with massive consequences sometimes. We are a company founded 2016 in Krems and have now um, deposits also in Vienna and in Graz um, and also in Südtirol now for the last, uh, starting last week. And um, we are developing not a prosthesis as a proprietary solution, but a modular system which can be used as an add-on to nearly any prosthesis for the lower extremities. Um, so I told you the elimination of phantom pain we think has now really become possible for the first time. And we are offering this feeling like prosthesis that could really improve the life, not only of the amputees, but also, also their family members, which is also very important. And the feeling like prosthesis, uh, to go one step forward, could be a new standard also in the prosthetic care in future. And I want to show you now one person who was involved or is involved in this problem, he's uh, someone who is aware of a prosthesis. I lost my leg 30 years ago in a motorbike accident. Uh, for years and years I had to deal with terrible phantom pain, which I could only bear with heavy medication. Sometimes it was so bad, I could not find joy in everyday life anymore. Now that I have the feeling like prosthesis, my life has transformed completely. No more painkillers, and for the first time in years, I have a clear perspective and positive outlook on my life. Not only is the pain nearly gone, but I feel much more safer. So you see um, that pain is the imminent... Uh the imminent thing which, where, where people were involved who have lost their leg. And I can tell you when you, when you are involved with people uh, with our clinical studies, for example, and they tell you it's every day the new choice, taking the painkillers or not taking the painkillers, both of it is, is quite terrible. Meaning uh, there is no really, so there hasn't been a really good solution uh, for this sort of pain category. Just a look to our team. Our in Safenus, uh, we have um, 
different expertise. We have to have different expertise. We are quite interdisciplinary uh, in the, in the um, fields of medicine, medical technology, physiotherapists, as well as also, which are very, we are very happy, also expertise in, um, in the uh, marketing and uh, dissemination of, of such a project, which is also nowadays very important. And we are also quite happy to have Tony on, on our side, uh, Tony Inauer, our co-founder from the beginning. Uh, he was also um, a very important for person for us, of course, uh, in the contact as an um, ambassador for the, for the amputees, but also when you it comes to negotiations, for example, in uh, reimbursement with insurance companies as well. So now uh, that's about my company. Now, the most important thing is when you do something, nine of 10 medtech startups fail normally. So that you have to be aware of when you're starting <laughs> to uh, build up a company. That's for true. And, and when you look at what is the reason for failing, uh, sometimes it's uh, the failure because um, you, don't, you don't look on a customer. Then you don't focus. You're alone. Or you are too fast in scaling, which is all also sometimes a problem. And especially for us in our project, it's very important to get uh, continuously evidence-based material uh, to be not too fast to establish a new product category. And that's what we are doing. Uh, so our idea of Safenus is, is multidisciplinary, medicine, physiotherapist, a business strategy, medical technology. It's cost intensive as a medical product with MDR and also effectiveness and to, has to be shown in clinical studies. And we have to have quite a lot of specialists um, helping us to miniaturize, for example, our product, helping us to, to find the bridges between the disciplines. And also communication, of course, is, 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 is important. Um, in our company, which is quite strange, to be honest, is we are not 20 in our company. When we founded it, we were older. And we said, well, one of our missions is also that the prosthetic care has to be much more broadened in, in, in Austria and Europe and in the world, meaning uh, there are certain countries, for example, where in Africa, for example, there is no prosthetic care. So there's someone sitting inside somewhere with nothing. And the reason is also that the, the prices are quite high, even in developing countries for prosthesis. And one mission um, uh, between others was also to, to find a way to get a bit of cheaper prosthesis, uh, which can be helping uh, more people. So the prosthetic care should be uh, expanded, and we said as a startup, is it possible to be profit orientated with a sense of proportion? Is this possible? And uh, that's a question we are we want to answer m most of the time with yes, it is possible. So we constructed a new form of um, company. We said we are not a Gesellschaft mit beschränkter Haftung in Germany. We will have we will no, we will. Um, how shall I say, we will uh, say now it's a social Gesellschaft mit beschränkter Haftung, means a soziale Gesellschaft, where we want to show every year also the social impact of our company. And just to give you one idea is, uh, for example, here in Ethiopia, we are uh, looking also at the sustainable development goals of the United Nations to say um, when it's possible, and sometimes it's, it's uh, informal work you have to do, uh, we want to uh, increase, for example, the possibility for the, for the uh, Ethiopian surgeries, for example, to, to build up a system where it's possible to, to find a way for prosthetic care. So, another thing is what we thought in 2016, is there a good funding scheme in Austria or is it necessary probably to go to Italy or to Germany? And I can tell you, it's probably the best in Europe. Uh, we had, for example, two years FFG um, program. We had four years uh, from the Austrian Wirtschaft Service, a program which helped us enormous to be fast, to, uh, to, com to come to the milestones. 
And we had an incubator in, in Low Austria Accent, which was uh, incredible, even now helping us uh, in, in building bridges. And what's, what is even has the same importance is also the coaching, which was, which was done afterwards, because we had the possibility to get coaching from the FFG, and now we're also in the program of Horizon 2020 due to, to the help of, of the FFG. And I think it's important to say, because it's uh, always, we're always so critical in Austria and say what doesn't work. Uh, so in the end, yes, that's, that's my story. Uh, with, uh, uh, so you have probably now an insight, and I'm uh, happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much, Rainer Schultheis. So I'm sure that there are some questions now. Yes, uh, one over there. Hold on. So can you explain how the product works? So it's difficult to imagine how you can feel something that's no longer available. Yeah. And uh, it's not so easy to, to explain, but I'll try. Uh, there are two ways. Uh, in the first step now, we uh, concentrate on pain-induced um, amputees. And in the first, there is a reconstructive surgery uh, where the lateral foot nerve uh, in the stump is redirected to the skin area of the stump. And after several months, there is a bit of a wand of nature. Suddenly, on the stump, the, the foot comes back again from the sensory point. So the person feels again his foot he's lost. And then you can use this renovated area to um, transform the rolling movement from, from a sole to this uh, renovated area on the stump. And the person now is possible to feel authentic again. So that's about the, the idea. And our product uh, is a sensory feedback system, meaning uh, we have a sensor sole, which is detecting the rolling movement and is uh, uh, transmitting it uh, wireless to a set of haptic actuators in the socket of uh, where, this, where the stump is, and there the information are uh, transferred. And this area is stimulated, as I told you, authentically, and then uh, it's possible to feel again. Meaning, feeling means that he suddenly uh, is possible to, to, um, to detect a, a pavement edge, for example. So, and it's very, very important for amputees. Uh, they help him a lot to be more stable. So the stump is uh, excited mechanically? Mechanically non-invasive. Okay. Any other questions? Um, thank you very much. This sounds very interesting. But I was just wondering, do you have just for just the legs, or are you planning in the future to incorporate them for the arms as well? Yes, we do. Uh, we, we, we concentrated, as I, as I told you, one of the failures of startups is they don't focus. So we focus on lower extremities first. But of course, this um, to be to be arrogant to say probably this leader innovation chip in sensors and actuators and in prosthetics we use also and we already started uh, to implement it also for the for the upper extremities. There are already solutions for upper extremities, but incredibly expensive, and we are looking for for new solutions, probably much more cheaper. There is another question here in the back. Uh, so my question is, is it limited to only certain types of amputees because you have different levels of amputation? Is there a specific category of amputees that you work with or is it just a more general solution? Uh, it is a general solution, but uh, we have different techniques uh, for below knee and above knee solutions. So for the below knee solutions, it's, it's uh, from the surgery point much more easier uh, to doing the, the target sensor innovation, as it's called, the surgery. But we have for both, we have solutions. Uh, and for the above knee, of course, it would be much more uh, important because they are much more away from the ground. So they need central feedback even more. So we, but we, we, we're looking for both, uh, uh, e even today. OK. If there are no further question, questions, then let's thank Rainer Schultes again.